Hey, wake the fuck up, Chosen One. We've got a city to burn. Wait a minute. Put it in the slot. The weapon you want modified. Put it in the slot. All right. What's up you guys, welcome back for another video. Today we're going to go over Indaco again. This will be the second time visiting this planet on the channel. Really looking forward to showing you guys the changes. Not as many as previous videos because that planet was pretty developed, but we've got better lighting, new animations on characters, new characters altogether, uh, some new areas to explore, and then a few other mechanics that weren't in the previous version. Um, this is all available in the build, by the way, so let's go ahead and jump in. But before we do, don't forget to like and subscribe. And then on top of that, I do have a Patreon and a Discord channel, so if either of those interest you, both links are in the description of the video. That being said, let's jump right into Indaco and start checking out the new updates. Get ourselves loaded in uh, right away. If you remember from the last video what it looked like, you will notice that we've got some new lighting combination of baked lighting and dynamic lighting that all comes together really good baked lighting helps performance a lot so that's a nice that's a nice addition to have let's go ahead and start heading this way down the uh, path here and we'll go over some of the new changes as they show up admire the new lighting all right so not a whole lot new in here doors still open up when you walk up to them uh, nothing inside those are just enemy spawn doors. Head down here, we're gonna get a glimpse of the helicopter boss, thug leader boss. A couple platformer, or a couple platforming areas. A bunch of cleaner, laser, sweeper bots, whatever you wanna call them. And uh, we head down this way, we can collect our first platinum bolt of the level. Just get that out of the way. Climb this ladder here, that's all old stuff. So. First big change is longtime Ratchet and Clank fans know there's a there's a door here on the planet that doesn't really do anything, and in classic sorry my controllers my left controller drifts a little bit so if you see me scoot to the right that's what's happening uh, this door so it doesn't really do anything but when you walk up to it in my version of the game there is a teleporter here so let's just go ahead and let's walk in this teleporter and see where it takes us okay so we're inside a building and. You might recognize some aspects of this room that we're in. It's actually the upstairs portion of a existing room. So if we jump down here, this should all be familiar to you guys. Um, but yeah, you can actually see this portion in the game. Um, but it's not accessible. So I went ahead and made it accessible. Um, I'm sort of treating it as a hangout spot for all of Clank's bots, the uh, micro bots, the hammer bot, and a bridge bot, uh, muscle bot. I guess we don't have the hammer bot here, actually, right now. He comes later. And then the repair bot. I know he's not on Megapolis, but I had him ready to go, and I thought he'd be a cool inclusion. He fits in well. Got another platinum bolt here we can collect, and, uh, yeah, that's about it. There's there's nothing else in here, you know, nothing, uh, nothing suspicious or weird or possibly scary that I need to go over. You know, nothing at all. Anyway, let's go ahead and teleport back now. So if we jump back on the teleporter, It'll take us to the same door that uh, brought us to that room, and we're uh, yeah back on track. So go ahead and just jump down here. Some more bots. You know, nothing new, nothing crazy about that. That's been there. All right, the first big change. We've got the grind rail section. So this has always been something that was super finicky. Yeah, I've, I've just never been happy with the way the grind rails worked. So my current solution, so you can still access these areas in a somewhat traditional way, is we've got this red taxi. And this red taxi, obviously not the base game, it will roughly follow the path of the grind rail here. So kind of dodge some of these, some of these lower, uh, lower uh, archways that we're going to go through. Yeah, this is just going to take us down the path. So we'll let this run its course. I hope this isn't too disappointing, but if I'm being completely honest, I think that this is a pretty good solution for the grind rails, especially considering uh, motion sickness and that kind of thing. Grind rails in VR are a tough thing to translate, so this is our band-aid solution for the time being. And then, same as before, we're just back at a uh, Slim Cognito, and uh, he's he's unchanged. He'll just occasionally say some. The weapon you want modified. Put it in the slot. He'll say some random quips that you uh you should recognize from Slim. So, 
That's about it. And if we were to jump on this teleporter, it will take us back to our ship. I'm not going to do that, though. Few, uh, I'm, uh, tweaks. I can turn it into a powerful piece of equipment. We're not going to teleport back. I'm going to just jump around here and Spider-Man myself back to the area that we were at before. Good timing. And uh, yeah, I'll keep moving forward. Get the elevator here. more of these sweep bots by the way these are still destructible so if I stand on the ledge here try not to get killed by my own drift uh, I don't have my wrench but I guess I'll oh, oh. Oh, there it goes yeah so they can you can knock them over and uh, they uh, apparently don't break uh, as often as they as I'd like them to but yeah those have physics and those are just gonna fall off the map all right well those need some work, but they do break. You can play around with that. You can blast them with the Lancer. I don't have that on hand right now, but uh, I guess you'll just have to take my word for it. So we're back in this room. This is, again, the room that you saw before with the secret area above, which you can still access at any point without the teleporter. Um, the teleporter is just sort of an extra, you know, a fun bit. And, uh, yeah, there's not really anything else in this room to show off, so we head over here. Hey, Thug Leader, he's gonna drop a one-liner, and not really anything else to do over here. You know, we can play with some crates, move these around a little bit. If we had a wrencher or a lancer, we could blast these and collect the, uh, the ammo counts inside. We'll take the teleporter here, and this should take us outside Clank's apartment. For the most part, this is the same as before. We have the cool additions of the VG-9000 and the Quark Vid comics. Quark statue. We've got the controllers for the VG-9000. Of course, the classic pyramid system. Jack is now laying down instead of sitting, so slight difference. we got a microbot just hanging out. Daxter is still absolutely trashed, and Clank is making sure he doesn't uh, drown in his own puke. Hey there, five gins. I'm just fine. Mind your own business. Heading over here, we've got the helmet and the uh, grind boots. Then PDA, crotchetizer. This pocket crotchetizer is still warm. Ew. A couple new things I added there. Just little fun Easter eggs. Yeah, that's about it for Clank's apartment. If we head out here, you'll see the swing shot targets. I guess this is a good time to go over a new feature. If you press Y on the left controller, you'll enable a laser pointer. So it was a requested feature from some people to have a better way of knowing where the swing shot's gonna land. Um, rather than being kind of random, so a laser pointer will take me right to the swing shot target and uh, Just an easier way to guide myself around and to hit targets like this yeah, And then pressing Y again, we'll turn it on and off. Pretty cool, really simple, but it gets the job done And then if we just head over here, we got one more teleporter and we're back home So I'll grab the Lancer just for fun and uh, I think we went that way the first time, so let's head down this way. And we are now on the inside of the planet, uh, or the inside areas, rather. Nothing in here is too different. We've got some nice smoke effects. Um, those were there before. They light up nicely with the light. Cool stuff. So I don't think these were working as intended beforehand, but they do have physics now, so you can kind of push them into place. Uh, we don't have the actual magnetic pulley system or grabber system from the actual game. That's fine. This will work for uh, what we're doing here. Just to get around another room with lots of nice smoke effects. A little platforming bit, and then, okay, so here's some of the new, another new character we've got. I'm not really sure what his name is, but the robot gunner. These are all animations pulled straight from the game itself, so they will just sort of run on loop and uh, you can appreciate his his being here. Another guy here. Some more of the sweeping cleaner bot guys. If we head this way, got another guy here with his animation playing. We can jump that. Some more sweeper bots. Laser bots. Oh, looks like we've got some floating emissives there. We'll have to take care of that. No big deal, run through here. Okay, so this room, uh, like before, we'll just pick up this bomb that's being reused from Maktar, and we'll set it, you know, somewhere near the, the door, and that should, broken door animation. I'll pick up that platinum bolt. Hmm. 
move this guy into place. Who's in here? Get down from there. Stop trying to eat my food, cat. Alright, got another room with more of these gun bots. Take the elevator. If we come up on this room, this is the clank torture chamber. Uh, I don't really know what else to call it. There's not really anything else that happens in here. And, um, yeah, he's not here though. I didn't want to keep our boy locked up in prison forever, so... If we head this way, we'll progress through the level. And you can access the clank areas still, so... If we go through here, it's kind of backwards, but we've got the microbots hanging out by their house. We've got a bridge bot here, with all their animations. Head this way, we've got a few more. Respawn zones, muscle bot, another bridge bot here, and uh, I guess one more. Micro bots, and then heading back here. We'll take the, this for fun, we'll take the ladder. And yeah, the starting room where uh, Clank would come out of the vent and we'd play as him. I'll just head back to the ending of that section so we can move on with the demonstration. Triple jump to get up here. And here we go. So that's pretty much it. You know, we'll, we'll jump down here, pull myself down with a swing shot. All right, so I think that about does it for Megapolis. I believe we went over everything that's new. Hopefully that was a nice demonstration for you guys. I hope it all is looking good. And, um, yeah, we can head over to the Patreons and close out the video. All right, and here we are at the Patreons. Once again, thank you guys always for watching my videos. The amount of support and love that pours in all the time is, it's, uh, it's unbelievable. So, thank you guys. Goldbolt patrons, Charles Duncan, Roman, thank you as always. And then our Kratreons, Ratchet Cinema, ESP, Gremlin, Charlo Bun, Mansell Davies, Riv Ravs, only Dan's TTV, Jose Munez, CJ Bass, Stephen F, J, Individu, Jacob Hood, Paul DeVico, Starlight Moon 213, Sky Toucher, Mod Some Fun, It's Chubbs, Saikami Tosaka, Nautical Turtle, Beta Tester, Dr. Legit, Her Punished Fristy, James Wood, Tetrasina, and Roxas. Once again, thank you guys so much. You're all incredible. If you liked what you saw today, don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out the Discord and the Patreon. But besides that, I will see you guys in the next video. See you later!